the breach way revisit today i've been really a big fan of this game and i've been kind of curious to see if there is anything new in the demo so we're going to check out the demo of breach way again today uh if you enjoy this game definitely pre uh wish list it so uh yeah welcome in so uh let's do a new run and see how the game is okay so we start here ship station wreckage neutral unknown unknown so i guess as we go forward we're going to discover these so we're going to go here oh no we're starting here actually all right here we go Okay, this is your hand of cards. This is your hand of cards displaying the actions you can take each turn. Each card requires resources to play, shown as a number in the lower part of the card. Okay, so uh, the colored number next to the icon indicates your current energy. The white number shows your energy income at the start of next turn. Uh, resources carry over between turns. Okay, enemy actions are based on their equipment. Each piece of equipment has a card slot indicated, indicating the next action. Cards gain one pip each turn. When all pips are filled, uh, the card's border turns white, signaling that it will be played on the next turn. Okay, uh, you play cards by dragging and dropping them over the crosshair region. Attack the enemy by s playing two slice cards to advance. Okay, so... This is pretty much it. So we have our cards down here. We have our energy. Um, and you can also like um, kind of reduce. You can kind of like put, if you have multiple different types of energy, you can actually um, say take like two away from the energy and then put it on the other one, but we're not there yet. Okay. So we have slice, deal four damage. So what you want to do is you want to try to um, take out their weapon system. Okay, so there we go. We attack them for eight. And then we end our turn. I like the design uh, of the ships that they have. I think it's done really well. Okay, shields are primary defense. With each shield point blocking one damage, shields have half at the start of each turn. So deploy shield cards just before an enemy attack for maximum effectiveness. Okay, the enemy ship is about to attack. Play a block card to prevent hull damage from the enemy's upcoming attack. So we put it here. After playing a card, it moves to your cooldown pile. Cooldown duration is indicated by the number next to the icon on the card. Once off cooldown, it returns to your draw pile. Okay, let me bring down the uh, the music. It's a little loud. Uh, okay. Did we mess up? Okay, I think we I think we uh, missed something. So we have two energy. Uh, cost per turn to maintain effect. Okay, so we can't do anything right now, it seems. Because, oh yeah, because we just put the shield on. Resistant effects on your ship appear uh, above your card hand. Some effects last for a set amount of turns. While others have an upkeep condition, you have to meet each turn to maintain the effect. Okay, so we can now do uh, damage. Deal one damage. Upkeep. Play at least one attack per turn. So we have to actually play an attack. And then we'll do this. Boom. Five damage. And now we have this ongoing. But we actually, to, to keep it, we have to um, use an at attack each turn.
Okay, he's got a shield on. Okay, so we have five. So I'm gonna attack. Enemy shields down. And then I'm gonna put a shield up. Shield up. Okay, so he has four. All right, our turn again. So to keep this, we have to keep uh, attacking. We have four. Three, four. Uh... Okay, so we're gonna do this five damage. He's done. There we go. All right. Victory. Okay, so we won that. Uh, okay, there's the area. Uh, the area is starting to get pretty lively. We should expect more combat on the approach to the station. Okay, we're going to proceed here. Uh, you now have access to the Ordnance resource. Ordnance is the main resource for attacks. Open your ship's status screen now to expect your resources. Okay, so we, we have it here. You have one anal uh, anal allocated reactor power. Okay, you can uh, redistribute uh, reactor power between your resources at any time. Right-click on energy twice to remove two power from it. Because uh, certain cards are going to have the ordinance uh, requirement. Uh, Left-click twice to add the power to ordinance. Okay, to close the ship. All right, there we go. We're good. Hopefully I'm not blocking anything. Uh, we'll have to see. Okay, we got a neutral. Okay, you can redistribute reactor power anytime in combat. All right. Uh, right click on a resource type to remove one power, one power unit. Uh, left click to add this. This lets you shift your resources income to suit your needs. Adding one power to a resource generates one heat. Okay, so we have zero heat right now. So now you see how it's plus one now? Because we added it. Okay, so we have three and six. So I'm just going to keep it like this for now. Okay, so we're going to do this. Uh, is this attack? Yeah, it is. Okay, we'll do that. And then uh, we're going to beam this guy for seven. And then we're going to block. And then we're going to block. Uh, and then end turn. Enemy is charging up a heavy blast. We need to take out the, the laser. Okay, precision attacks. If you want a better look at your ship, you can orbit the camera while keeping the left mouse button pressed and use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Okay. Each enemy piece of equipment has a durability value indicated by an icon. Uh, when durability hits zero, the equipment breaks, preventing any action. So it's like a shield, basically. Uh, enemy equipment is automatically repaired in three turns. Okay, uh, you can right click to discard unwanted cards, freeing up a slot for new draw next turn. Okay, discarded cards go on cooldown just as if being played. Consider discarding cards that are not useful in the next few turns. So you see how it costs three? We can't really use it because we only have one, right? Okay, you can right click to discard unwanted cards, freeing up a slot for new draw next turn. Discard cards go to cooldown, okay.
Okay, so we're gonna do shields. Shielding enhanced. Do we have eight shield now? He's shielding as well. Okay, so we have three now. Because we're, we're getting plus one each turn here. Okay, we're going to do laser pulse. And we're going to get rid of his uh, heavy blast. Enemy shields down. Okay. So we're going to have to end turn, I guess. So you got my shield down. Ooh, we get two this turn though, but we're overheating. Uh... I don't know if I want to do that. Um... Plus two. Okay, here, let's do this. But see, we lose that because we couldn't use these cards. Okay. Oh, so it permanently puts a one on it if you if you do do that. Oh, that's pretty good though. So it looks like if you get uh three, like if you get this to three three, I think it uh I'm not too sure if it you lose or what. Okay, um good four. So let's do a shield. Okay, so this is down to six now. We enter now. Okay. He pulling the shield. We got to get his gun down, basically. That's what we got to do. Oh, no, it goes away. Current heat. Oh, nice. It looks like I have a lot of energy, so... Deal six damage, ignite. Okay, so let's do shield. Okay, so the beam, so the the only thing that can actually um, target specific uh, equipment is uh, the precision stuff. So we can only do this. Enemy shields down. Okay, and then we have to uh, enter in here. Okay, so this thing we can actually do. The so precision on this is down to two. Shield I'll shield hand. again. I'll end turn. Yo, Marty. How's it going? Good. We are showcasing a demo. An indie demo that uh, I did last year. I just want to see if it's um, updated. Okay. So we got three. Uh, we have three ordnance and six energy. So I want to take his weapon out. Okay, so his weapon is disabled for three turns. So I'm going to end turn. Okay. Uh, so we got to get this guy, Dan Foe. He has four health left. You are now shielded. I'm going to put shield and then we're going to go like that. Uh, we're going to end turn. And he's done for.
There we go. We beat him. See you later. Okay, uh, click on flashing subsystem to add it to your cargo bay. Okay, so we get infrared em uh, emitter, a laser. Any attack from this weapon that deals haul damage adds plus one heat. Oh, that's actually pretty good. All right, there we go. Okay, Captain, we should hook up the mass refiner module to the reactor. It was originally meant for deflecting dust and minor asteroids, not high-powered lasers. It can modify it to suspend high-density particles in its magnetic field, um, diffusing laser beams and absorbing kinetic force. Uh, we also salvaged a functional subsystem from that ship. I'm sure we can put it to good use. Might help us get out of this one piece. I'll be claiming that as Ripper. Okay. Um, okay, reactor upgrades. You can upgrade your reactor with credits you gather on your journey. Okay, so we have this here. Reactor upgrades. Click on the upgrade button below the reactor icon. Okay, we get the mass upgrade. Okay, uh, you now have access to the mass resource used for upgrades and repairs. Add your upgrade power unit. Okay, so this is the uh, subsystems. Okay, subsystems enhance compat uh, compatible equipment and their cards with various effects. Drag and drop the subsystem from cargo bay on your modified cutter for application. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's now added to the modified cutter. Okay, cool. Okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, okay. Uh, I think some of the UI just needs to be tweaked. Like, for that instance of like seeing that a menu kind of went behind this. But it's all good. All right, so let's move forward. We're moving forward. Uh, if you guys are enjoying this game, uh, I have the, I should have the wish list for the demo uh, pinned in chat. I have it now. There it is, guys. Okay, manual unpin. Twitch is weird sometimes. I have to like physically go in here like multiple times. Okay, so there it is. Um, hide for myself. So I don't know when this game is officially uh, coming out, but they do have a demo. Oh, okay. So this game is officially coming out in technically one month from now. So I am 100% going to record a full video probably tomorrow morning for my YouTube channel. So that it can gather up some uh, some traction and and hopefully um, the dev can get some wish uh, some wish lists and saves. Okay, we're moving on. Okay, uh, the remains of the station are in view. Things seem quiet, but the tension in the crew is uh, palpable. Okay, let's go. Crew abilities. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this now. Crew members have abilities you can activate at will during combat. To inspect crew abilities, hover over a crew member's portrait. Okay, so next attack played this turn deals 50 uh, plus 50 damage. Okay, that's really cool. Uh, abilities do not use regular resources. Instead, they use command points and have a cooldown after use. Your command point uh, capacity is determined by the amount of crew on board. Plus three max uh, command points per crew member. Okay, so we can actually use this. So we have um, we have eight command points right now. The so next attack played this turn deals fifty percent damage. Uh, gain two of each resource. Next shield card played this gives a fifty percent shield point. 
Okay, we're gonna do this guy. All right, let's see what we gotta do here. He has 30 health. We're gonna get rid of his uh, pulse, maybe. Four damage, four damage, four damage. Enemy shields down. Okay, there we go. Uh, and that's all we can do right now. We just kind of want to disable his uh, weapons, I think. <laughs> Delayed attacks. Incoming enemy missile. You can track missiles in the lower left part of the screen. Uh, oh, right here. Okay. Uh, above your hall points. Missiles have a delay of one or more turns before they hit. You can defend against missiles by playing shield cards or shooting them down with special missile defense cards. Okay, cool. Shields up, Captain. So I'm putting shields up. Uh, I have three. This costs four, though, so. Going so four turns? I think. Okay, my turn again. Ooh. Okay, I wanted to discard those. All right, uh, enter. Okay, so we straight up. So we have 13, 4, 4. We're gonna block again. Gotta get the pulse down. All right. Um. And turn it. Okay, so we actually got hit here. Damn. Okay, so... We're gonna kind of balance that out now, I guess. So we're gonna do this. Beamage. Oh man. Five. There we go. So he has no laser pulse now. So he just has the delay stuff. Shields up, Captain. Shields up, Captain. And then we want to try to get this done as much as we can, too. Okay, he's 12 health. Oh, damn. Uh, so why can't I use this? Okay, so we got one shield. Okay, enter. Okay, so he's got his pulse back. Uh, he has 12 health. I got a shield up. Four damage, eh? And then I can block again, so I got 12 block. Enter! Okay. 
Okay, his that is up. More shields. And turn. He has four four health. I can't do anything this turn. Ooh, he did hit me though. Okay, there he is. He's done. We lost some health though. All right. Click on flashing equipment to add it to your cargo bay. Click on the add card button to select the card. All right. Um, if you don't have shield, add 12 shield and one. Oh, this the ray shield is pretty good. Deal three damage uh, two times. So that's six damage. Gain four energy. I'm going to do this raise. I feel like the raise shield is pretty good. So we got a new... Uh... But that was us kind of taking our second look at Breachway. So if you guys did enjoy, um, definitely go wish list. There's a demo available and um, I really enjoy this game. I'm always checking in on it to see see if there's any updates or whatever. Uh, I think this game officially is coming out in August on August 30th. That's kind of the time where we are going to kind of be here doing a lot more uh, indie stuff. So we're going to revisit the game when it officially releases. And we'll probably stream it for you guys. So thank you, everybody. And definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel if you guys are not. There it is.